Hi. Welcome to TJ and Jody's house. Yes, yes. What a glorious day for us to get together and share one with another. From our marital marital bliss, Mm -hmm. we call us. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Very funny. You look really pretty today, Jody. Thank you, darling. As you do every day. You look very handsome. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Um, And I know, you're right. Okay. You're always right. Mm. Jody is always right. Yes, I am. Um. I, I, I know it just it just changed. We had a thing that was um, behind me here. This real. I'm going to do this while y'all are talking. Okay, we had a thing that was behind me here in the um, in the shot for the Ace TJ dot TV of um, <clears throat> uh, Josh's Farmers Market yeah, logo, and um, you know, looking very professional. Um, <laughs> we did for a minute. It went off again. No, looks good now. Looks good now. Okay. Well, we have three of the same exact types of TVs, um, all in the same location. So when you hit one remote, it messes with the other TV. Like one, It's not a remote for that TV, a remote for that one. And then a remote. So anytime you hit a remote, it changes all the TVs or they all, you know, like, so like they do. So if you turn in, this off, will it turn that off? Yeah. Uh-oh. I mean, that's the way it happens in all big time studios. <laughs> You know, right? I was not responsible uh, for ordering the TV. This was mm, a- no, it's fine. It's fine. No big deal. I mean, add it to the list of this fanciness. Mm-hmm. Fancy, fancy. Well, um, we'll get into this a little bit later um, of something new that we have in the studio that I think is going to add a lot hmm. to everything. Um, hmm. But first, at Josh's Farmers Market. They were explaining to us the other day about how um, how they drive to the coast every Thursday to get the fresh seafood, um, and how much how much it costs in fuel to go. Oh yeah, you know, can you imagine to the, to the coast to pick up all the fresh seafood? But they do that for you. They do the legwork for you to get your fresh seafood. That's right. Um, they even uh, they even have crawfish. You know, and that's going to be. You know, the season for crawfish is is going to end soon, so you probably need to take advantage of that. If you don't, yeah. if you don't know how to cook crawfish, then uh, you're missing out. You know, go to the internet. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but if you're, um, you know, if you need the fresh produce and all of that, you know, summertime you know, vegetables and uh, and fruits and and all, you can find those at Josh's as well as their delicious pastries and uh, the Amish furniture, and uh, they sell those. Uh, TJ and Jody glider love seat things as quickly as they can make them and, and stick them out there. I'm they're sure. gone. They're awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how much power we have Is over the it? people. It's yeah. not the fact that they're comfortable. and Well, I mean, all of that too. But when it comes, you know, with a TJ and Jody recommendation, uh-huh. oh, people okay. jump on that. Toot, people, toot. people jumps on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Boston Ferns, I think they still have those. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, you gotta you gotta snatch those up. I never knew that the best ferns came from Boston. I just thought they were just ferns. Well, they do. You know, I gotta pop in there today. I gotta get some flowers. You do? Yeah. Oh well, then that just ruins it because I was gonna go buy you flowers today. Oh, I'm getting plants, not like. Oh. Yeah. Well then, f- pick yourself up a bouquet. <laughs> Okay, thanks. A fresh floral bouquet thank that you, you love at Josh's. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, make it for me. Okay. So this weekend coming up is um, uh, with their food trucks that they're going to have out there. Another food truck is the name of one. And um, it looks like, you know, that's some really, really good stuff. It's like um, southern traditional things with modern twist. Okay. Um, Granny's Donuts will be out there. And uh, then Saturday, I mean, uh, Sunday, Bay's. Uh, food truck, which is burgers, mm-hmm. delicious gourmet burgers, delicious, and uh, Holy City cookie dough. Mm. So, always great stuff going on at Josh's Farmers Market. Go to Josh's Farmers Market dot com. Make sure if you go that you tell them how much you love this podcast and the Ace <laughs> and TJ show and all of that, because uh, that makes us look good. Well, yeah, 
Jody makes us look good first, and then mm, that yes. kind of thing makes us look How good. How sweet. I know. It's all sweetness today. No fighting mm. and no um, no aggravating Jody today. Today, oh gosh, the yeah. aggravation will be um, targeted toward Mr. Todd oh, Camera yeah. Oh, no. Mm. No, it'll be fine. We'll get to it next. TJ and Jody's house. Summer is coming, and that means lots of great live music. And this summer, that means Train with special guests Jewel and Blues Traveler. Thursday, June 30th, there'll be a PNC Music Pavilion in Charlotte. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com for Train with special guests Jewel and Blues Traveler. If you want to sleep better and lose weight, then the product that you need is called Calitrin, or you can pronounce it Calitrin. Very easy for you to get. Just go to acetj.com slash weight loss. acetj.com slash weight loss for Calitrin. The Johnson Group Facility Services is a commercial cleaning company that focuses more on customer satisfaction than the bottom line because each customer works directly with the owners every step of the way. If you need any commercial cleaning, the Johnson Group can handle it. Get details at acetj.com slash clean. TJ and Jody's house. So welcome back. So excited to be here. We've had a lot go on in our lives lately. We've had a lot of busyness. <laughs> we have finally made it through all of our busyness. <laughs> what? The, yeah, don't worry about that, Todd. Just, right. just turn it off. It's not going to work. I'm talking about the little backdrop thing back here. Uh, I mean, we've only had these TVs up for two weeks or so, and they're not working. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm in a, in a good mood. Um, and if anybody wonders where we get that, where we say through all of our busyness, um, we were at a, a morning radio conference in San Francisco one time. Yeah, we have morning radio conferences. And, uh, I was on the elevator and these two guys, uh, it was a couple, they got on the elevator and one of them just kind of collapsed against the back wall of the elevator. And he said with such relief in his voice, <sighs> We finally made it through all of our busyness. And so that's where we get that from. We've said that for years. Because mm-hmm. busyness is a funny word. I don't busyness. care. I don't care what you think about it. Busyness, busyness. is a funny word. So um, our busyness has kind of slowed down since we got finished with moving the boy home for the semester mm-hmm. and the girl graduating. Yes. Oh no, we still have. Uh, you have busyness. I do. That you I have to have go. Busyness. And, and this is this is the thing. Um, our daughter is moving out of her apartment for good mm-hmm. at college, so there's no more going back to the apartment. So she's got to move her bed and everything. And Jody usually goes and helps her get her stuff home after the semester. Mm-hmm. But there's more than there normally is. So we've been having this thing back and forth where Jody thinks it's ridiculous that I think I need to go to Nashville so I can drive the the small U-Haul back home seven hours. Mm -hmm. Because I can do it. You really, you really think you wouldn't have a problem with it or be nervous? A thousand percent, I would be fine. You wouldn't be nervous at all. No. What? What is there to be nervous about? Well, I mean, it's a you're driving a big truck that you're not I'll used to driving, and you don't and have a rear view mirror or anything. You just got side mirrors. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be fine. But you get nervous now in a regular car with if, you driving. If a no, um, no, I'm not trying to. Don't, don't don't be mean. No, but I mean that's when I'm I get just, nervous. No, it's when you're driving as well, and an 18 wheeler changes lanes uh-huh. or gets close to you. Uh-huh. You think. You even if you're driving, you freak out. I mean, you get nervous. So if you're in a vehicle that you're not used to driving, that's bigger than normal, that you may, you know, he's, you know, over the line or anything like that. I'm, I think you're sure going to be. Gonna ease over a line. I promise. Like I know what I'm doing. I promise you. How many times have you driven a truck like that? A couple in my lifetime. I'm 51 years For seven old. Seven hours. Probably that long of a distance Probably. through mountains. I'm going through one tiny stretch and, in and tunnels. I will be fine in a tunnel. <laughs> oh my gosh, you worry too much. Well, some people would think that that's nice. I mean, it is, but, but it I'll doesn't be sound okay. like you sound like you're you're um, mad aggravated. I'm trying to make it to where you don't have to leave 
get there. Drive, it's, I will be fine. But I would be. I would rather that than and have a little peace of mind I, than f- to worry about you driving in I'll a big right. truck. We'll talk about it later. Okay. As of now, though, I think I'll be fine going. I'll get there, get the truck loaded up. That's where I need you, not the driving. <laughs> I need you to come load up the truck. Yeah, because I mean, what all, y'all aren't gonna have a lot of heavy stuff, though, are you? Oh, just, just her the bed. bed, the mattress, two TVs. Well, those um, aren't heavy. She has a nightstand. Uh, another thing with the, her TVs on, a desk. I mean, there's there's stuff. Yeah, she does. Have, is she bringing the? Um, you said she's gonna have to sell that big popcorn. Oh machine. yeah, I'm not hauling that back and forth. How big of a what? It's, a, it's one it, of those like popcorn that people put in their ha- lot of, yeah. Like yeah. The big cart one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Very. And she never ever uses it, ever. The thing wasn't cheap, was it? No. She well, we don't know. Christmas Santa gift. Claus brought it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, she mm. several years ago she got that. Yeah, I hate to see that just go. Well then, because the popcorn. Do you want me good. to bring it to the house? No, because I I don't need to be eating that much popcorn. Mm-hmm. But um, but I don't see her being the type to just like sell something and have somebody coming over to her I'm apartment sure I'll have and all to do that. It. How Whatever. will you do? Will you be there long enough to sell? I'll it? bring it home and sell it. Oh, Facebook Marketplace. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. if you're gonna bring it home, then you might as well bring it home and give it to Todd. Obviously, he he's impressed by that. You don't want actually, it? Actually, I might buy it from you. I'll give it to you. No. <laughs> what? All the stuff he does, yes, we would give him that. What does he do? He's up here doing stuff all the time. He oh. loves it, Jody. He would he would pay us to be up here. Stop. I practically am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, That's so true. So, um, but Todd's not coming to the house today. Oh, he's not? No. He was supposed to come and record a, an episode of the cooking show, but Uh-oh. he's going to do it next, like before. He's going to do it Tuesday and for it to air Thursday. So there won't be one this week? Yeah, there's the um, the drink one this week uh, where I'm wearing a funny hat. Okay, okay, okay. But then by the time this airs, it would have already aired. So, But you could still go see it. Yeah. Yeah, go, go look up stuff that you haven't seen yet on acetj.tv. And then um, share it with other people. Give it a five star rating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you do that on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Five star rating. Likes. Okay. Likes. Yeah. So, um, and we won't be able to record our podcast next week either. Mm-mm, we're gonna be gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Unless we well, do it from where we are. No. Oh no. <laughs> but I'm. Uh, Actually, having to, we could do it the same day that we record the the <laughs> cooking show on Monday. Is that Monday? Why can't I do it Tuesday? Oh, we're leaving, leaving Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Ooh, uh, as long as um, okay. I have to, I have somewhere to be at twelve thirty on Monday. Oh well, surely we would be through with that. And I have to get Laney to the airport too that morning. Oh, but early. Well, I'll be. But, but I'm you free. know what? Uh, I'm, could, in, I'm free in between the airport and um, my twelve thirty appointment. We could actually give the listeners and viewers something that they've been asking for and requesting a break. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, just you know, for me, me to do a solo TJ and Jody's okay. house. Okay. They've been asking for that. That's fine. TJ's house. Mm-hmm. I mean, because yeah. that's actually what it is anyway. At is our, it? At our home. Wow. Oh. I tell you, uh, this morning, as I was leaving, these deer that we have mm. are getting out of control. They have attitudes, don't they? I, I would say so, because mm-hmm. when I'm backing out of the driveway, when I was backing out of the driveway this morning, and I turned and my lights hit the front yard, there was just one standing in the front yard just looking at me and then just defiantly you know, took a dump. <gasps> in the yard yeah are you serious mm-hmm. just like yeah what about it well maybe but maybe you scared the poo out of him no i mean he was just getting ready anyway i'm sure man i know when light when lights flowers? when lights hit a deer they freeze and yeah. whatever else were they up near the flowers hang on a minute hey adam how are you? Um, all right. We're recording TJ and Jody's house right now. 
Can I, I talk to you soon. Can I call you back? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. <laughs> hey, Adam. Hello. Hey, Adam. <laughs> All right. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. See, it's just that like everybody's just constantly <laughs> pawing at me. Everybody just wants a piece. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is all. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so I know deer freeze, and that's why they call deer in the headlights mm-hmm. when you just stand there frozen. Mm-hmm. But still, he he or she, I don't know because they, I don't. They lose I, their. I don't think they have their antlers, antlers at this point. Yeah, or uh, horns as we call them There's in Louisiana. Something. But just like, yeah, what you going to do about it? It's like, this was my land first. Uh This this is where I pooped before you moved in. Well, yesterday when I was leaving on our our area of where we live, it was, I don't know, it was morning, probably 930-ish. And three of them were in a fence, but it was like the wire fence in somebody's yard. Mm -hmm. And they they looked at me like, you going to slow down? Because we got to go. Yeah. So I slowed down. And all three of them jumped the fence. And I hate a smug deer. They're so sassy. Oh. <laughs> I hate them. They are sassy. And they're <laughs> out at all hours. Yeah. Just a bunch of drunk, drug addict deers. Mm-hmm. That's all they are. Craziness. Um, did you hear um, that in the UK they have found a human with a case of monkeypox? No, that I don't know exactly what monkeypox is. What is? But that? it just sounds more uh, disgusting than chickenpox. Yeah, it does. You know, if somebody said, "Oh my God, did you hear Jody's got monkeypox?" You go, "What?" Have you looked? Huh. Have you googled monkeypox? But if somebody said Jody's got chickenpox, somebody would just go, "Oh, at her age." Yeah. Have you, have you googled monkeypox? No. Do I want to see what it's about? Do you want to see what it looks like if it's a mm, if it's a nice picture? Not really. Yeah. Monkey Gross. pox. That is strange. But I got a feeling that um, that it is not supposed to be around anymore, or maybe <laughs> humans have never had it. I was gonna say I've never heard of that. Um, monkey pox is a rare disease that is caused by infection with monkey pox virus. Okay, well that explains it. That's there, the dumbest is there any, explanation. Is there any oh, images? It's a, monkey pox is when someone has the monkey pox virus. Thank you. Um, monkey pox. Monkey pox virus belongs to the Ugh. ortho pox virus uh, genus in family. Da, 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 stuff I don't know. Uh, ew. Ew. It's, ew, a, it's, it's a, so bad. Yeah, it's <gasps> akin to smallpox. But it looks like big, huge cysts pop up on your skin and stuff. Is it too gross? It's disgusting. Mm-mm. You could even pop it up on camera. I'm going to be sick. All right, I'll do you want to put it on the screen? Yeah, I'll do that. People can look at it. It's just like big blisters, like giant fire ant bites, look. basically. That is awful. I know. Well, I mean, you figure it would be. Ugh. They wouldn't just give monkey pox that title. They wouldn't give it the title. Monkey pox, if it were, you know, just a and the thing I just pulled up thing. said twenty cases have been found. Hmm. In Great Britain, I thought it said the U.S. Um, this one says the U.K. This says. Oh man. No, I'm sorry. Rare monkey pox cases reported from U.S. First time in nearly twenty years. So how, I guess it has been around. How does one get the monkeypox? It was detex- detected in Texas. Oh, and you know that's a severe case because everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! They're hospitalized in an isolation in Dallas. Ugh. Would you still love me if I had monkeypox, Jody? It said that the lone case of monkeypox is no cause for alarm and poses no threat to the general public. She just ignored that question. What would you say? Um, I said, would you still love me if I had monkeypox? Sure. Sure, I'd still love you. Because that's would I not hang something. Out, hang on, you know. <laughs> but would I still love you? Yeah. yeah. That's not something, though, that you can uh, you can 
you know, get rid of by spraying Lysol and opening the windows no. like you do when I'm sick now. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh-huh. Is it some fresh air in here? Let these germs out. Lysol, fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bless their hearts. That looks terrible. That's pitiful, and I bet it's so painful. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully they'll stop that business before it spreads. But, but how does it, how does one contract monkeypox? I don't know. I don't Surely know. we have a vaccine for it. I've never heard. Mm-mm. Yeah, because, I mean, you go and you get your smallpox vaccine and your polio vaccine. They've never never done a monkeypox vaccine. No. I bet you I'd end up getting it. <laughs> Gosh. That'd be so my funny. luck. Uh-huh. Walk around here, not winning the lottery, and getting monkeypox. I know. Did we win the lottery last night? I, did they do it last night? No. Yeah. Well, this airs on the, on Monday, but somebody from Tennessee Wednesday. win? No, y'all didn't hear about that. No. The guy read the Powerball wrong. He said <gasps> it was a six and it was a nine. No. And so they had to tell everybody to hold on to their tickets while they figure it out. Yeah, they did a thing on this. The oh. next drawing is Friday, which will be. So nobody won. I don't know if anybody actually won or not, but technically they didn't because. Wow. Yeah, but if I had a job that with it was supposed to keep up with current events, I would probably have known that. But <laughs> since I don't, where you been? I'm telling you, I got the monkeypox. <laughs> I can feel it. You know, monkeypox is messing with my brain. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. But I, I'm, I'm probably sure we didn't win. But we won't know until Friday, though, if they're doing a, a Oh, so they're going to redo drawing. the drawing because it was such a mess? I, I think so. Okay, I mean, well, we... They didn't say anybody won, but, I, yeah. We need to look into that. But why do they have to do that? Why can't they just say, oh, he called out the wrong number, I it's know. a nine? Yeah. Or whatever. So weird. Hmm. I agree. Okay. Do you think that guy still has his job? Ooh, ooh we. I wouldn't think so. Cause wouldn't that be would would that be a government job? You're working for the you're working for the state, probably. Or is it somebody working for a TV station or something? I, I don't know. Somebody working for the lottery. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. No, but then they'll be fine. You can't fire government mm. employees. <laughs> they don't allow it. Mm. But how embarrassing! That is so embarrassing. Something I do. Mm-hmm. It is. I swear it is. Because you don't focus. I focus. I just can't see very well. Um, great news. Um, the new Bosch spinoff is um, is good. Good. I know you were you were anxious to find out about mm-hmm. that. Bosch. Mm-hmm. How many episodes have you watched? Uh, two, I think. What is Bosch? It's a it's a detective show. Oh. It's really good. Not it's not a true crime story. It's a fictitious fictional it came out friday and we were gone so you know he that in the back of his mind that's all he was he didn't get much tv while we were gone and it's a problem (laughs) Uh, and i didn't complain there was no time to complain Mm -mm. yeah you know me just go with the flow That's mm-hmm. all I do. Mm-hmm. But I didn't complain this weekend you about didn't. anything. You're very good. Because mm-hmm. we were really busy. Yeah, and I had to go to a mall. You know, I normally don't like that. I don't like a mall either. I had to eat at the mall. I didn't. That's not my doings. Her dad has uh, dietary restrictions because he, um, he lost his gallbladder. I don't know where he had it last, but <laughs> seems to have lost it. So he ate at the Cheesecake Factory for lunch Friday. Mm-hmm. And um, because he could get a plain turkey sandwich there. Right. And a salad. Did he eat a salad? He didn't eat any of he it. He didn't eat a salad. I mean, he got it, but he didn't eat any of it. Okay. Yeah. Just a plain turkey sandwich. And even at that, he was still worried that, know. you know, he would... He would run into the restroom, and then nothing would happen. But he'd say, just in case. And that's bad. When you look at it like that, you say, I can't, if I eat something, I can't get too far away from the bathroom because I don't know when, when there's going to be an emergency. That is miserable. But I didn't know your gallbladder did that. 
It it doesn't, but it does if you eat things you shouldn't be eating. Like he needs to introduce new foods one at a time slowly at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I didn't even realize, I guess, what, what a gallbladder is and where it is mm-hmm. and all that. It has something to do with your digestion. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I never want to lose mine. I got so, a string tied around mine. So you can imagine how nervous he was at the graduation. Yeah. Wouldn't that suck? You got your your first grandchild graduating <laughs> from college, and you you're in the Whoops. in the bathroom. Whoopsie. Peeing out of your butt. Okay, we don't need all the graphics. So I'm just gross. saying that would be miserable. You know, I agree with you. We're agreeing, Jody. Mm-hmm. We're in don't, a, don't make it gross. We're in agreement. <sighs> Nasty. <laughs> like you've never said that. Well, if I have, it hasn't been on a microphone for people to hear. See, that's the difference between you I'm and me, Kitten. I'm private. No, the, do not comment. I'm out. real all the time. You know, microphone, no microphone. I'm the real deal. Uh, TV. Movies, anything I'm in, anything I'm in, I'm the real deal. Mm -hmm. You worry about your image. I have no image. I just try to have some manners. Yeah. It's not image, it's manners. Really? Yes. Hmm. Don't start. You're so good, aren't you, Don't start. Don't start. See, he can't stand it. He cannot go a whole episode without bugging me. No, because you're the one that came out with the mean tone from the beginning. What'd I say? Just, you know, it's just you're very, ah, you know, on me. Oh, God. You're just uh, always, you know, poised to. No, I'm not. To pounce. That's what you are. You're You're not. You're a pouncer. Mm Mm-hmm. All the time. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So there went that story about I was just trying to tell people how how bad your dad has it being his dietary restrictions and all. Okay. And um you know that, that's why I'd be eating at the cheesecake factory. <laughs> mhm. Cuz their menu is so vast. It's that a book. Surely there's going to be something it's on a there book. for your dad to eat. And yeah. There was. There was. And I enjoyed what I had. Um, have you noticed though that your that your dad everywhere he goes now asks if they have chips? Like he wants he wants potato chips everywhere. No, but I notice he's asking for uh fancy water. Mm-hmm. What's that about? Gallbladder? Maybe I don't know. Maybe his maybe his bladder bladder. <laughs> like he's too good for the tap. Yeah, I guess. But um, I'm wondering though if the if he can have chips potato chips but not fries with his stomach yes, issue he can't have greasy yeah but it's i don't know are potato chips not i don't know he i don't know i can't keep up but he can't drink beer that's no, the thing and that's no, that's no, no. he can't have any alcohol mm-mm. Mm-mm. now do you find that to be a good thing or no um i don't know it's fine either way <laughs> 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 his name's rex and we have something in our house called the rex flu uh-huh. because um the guys that i used to hang out with are um you know marines and bikers and all this. that and then he they took him and got him drunk and at christmas he came down the next morning and said, I think I got the flu. But he was just hung over, so we caught the Rex flu. So he didn't have the Rex flu at all. There was no, no chance of that Mm-mm, going no. on this no weekend. No chance. No chance. Um, did you feel old sitting at your child's college graduation? Yes. You did? Yeah. You shouldn't. Well, I did. You were the um, the prettiest mom there of the <laughs> whole thousands of people. Well, thank you. Because I looked at every one of them. He, every one I of looked, them. I saw every one of them. Every looked them, one of them, looked them up and down. Place. Yep. Uh-huh. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, I didn't see any of the um, the graduates that that looked as good as you. <laughs> the young ones. Okay. <laughs> she had on a red dress. I posted on my uh, on my social medias. She had on a red dress and rose rose in her mouth, oh, trying God. to do the salsa. Rose in my mouth, yeah. It was so cold that day. It was rainy. It was awful weather. Misty, rain, cold. Mm-hmm. 
Misty was also the um, the head of the uh, graduation class. But we made Her name it. was Misty. Cold and Misty. We're done. Moving on. Yeah. Next task. And you think the boy one will make it that far? Yeah, I do. You got three more years with him. He did really well his first year. Mm-hmm. Really well. He I'm did. so proud of him. Well, you know what? You might want to tell him every now and then, I Jody. did. I tell him all the time. You do? Yep. All I ever hear you do is okay, yell at him. Okay, here we go. All mm-hmm. I ever hear you do is I can hear you yelling at him and saying, you are not going to be like your daddy. <laughs> That's the only thing I ever hear. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now I do tell him. He mm-hmm. knows. He knows. When he does something that, you know, that you think is like you, then you're like, He doesn't do so anything good. like me. No, he doesn't. Nothing. Nothing at all. It does kind of make me feel bad, though, when you say that. <laughs> but you're not going to be like your daddy, especially when I'm not in the room. What and did I, I say over, that And about? I overhear it. But then I, I'm like, oh, she's talking trash. Are you trash. making that stuff? She's talking trash. I don't say that. Jody. Like your dad. What do I say? Kitten. You know you say that. <laughs> Stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> and I have nothing but glowing reviews of you all the time. Well, Ask anybody. If you could tell me what I've said, then that would help. Well, I just told you. You say you're not going to be like your dad. But and, what do I and, say that about? Yeah, a lot of things. What? Give All me kinds one. of things. Okay, give me one. I don't. Whatever he does that that upsets you, and um, that you say that. But what? I don't know for sure. Mm-hmm. Every, I'm telling you, mm-hmm. next time he does something that you don't like, mm-hmm. then that's that. Like whatever it is, like I the don't trash know. Overflowing and not taking it out. That or um, wanting to be alone, wanting to not talk oh, to I don't people, care about that. all that stuff. You know, I don't care. That's y'all's business. Mm-hmm. Mm, Being yep. completely, you know, loved by thousands and thousands of people, you know, you say you're not going to be like your daddy and be loved by thousands and millions of people. I've had to share him with the public for too long. I'm not sharing my son either. Anytime he talks about trying to be a celebrity of some sort or be in entertainment or whatever, you say, no, son, you're not going to be like your daddy. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. You are something Mm -hmm. else. I know. Something else. Let's talk about the new decor in here. Okay. Well, we have to take a break first. Okay. All right. So um, we'll be right back. More from TJ and Jody's house next. One of the main things that we can do to make our homes stay comfortable is to make sure that there are no pests in the home. And the best way to do that is with our friends at Cardinal Environmental Solutions. Now, Cardinal Environmental Solutions has over 25 years of experience in the pest control industry. And the thing about it is, is that they are from this area. They serve the uh, entire greater Charlotte area and they grew up here in Charlotte. They raise their families here in Charlotte. They understand the climate, the soil types, all of the various pests that invade our homes, uh, and they even deal with the bad mosquitoes that we have. So if you need someone to take care and make sure that your house is bug-free and rodent-free, then you need Cardinal Environmental Solutions. They're very easy to find. Just go to acetj.com slash cardinal, acetj.com slash cardinal, and start living pest-free today with Cardinal. Let's go. It's TJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network. Yep. Okay. What do you want to talk about with the new decor Okay. Jody. So, why are these curtains up on the windows? Where It's like we're in a cave. Because um, the lighting for the cameras um, doesn't look as good when there is that bright sun, natural light coming into the room. Like, if you went into a TV station, there are no windows of any kind in a TV station. It's just all... Oh. You know, uh, illuminated by the um, by the special lights that they okay. have. Okay. Maybe I could have run an iron over those curtains before uh, we hung them. <laughs> are these the curtains that uh, our daughter's boyfriend hung? Um. Well, we did it together <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> did he do that? Hmm. Did he do that? 
like I said, we did it together. But we didn't have a we don't have a ladder or anything. Oh no! So I had to use a chair <laughs> oh, no. for him to stand in because uh-huh. it was easier. Because he's little, he could stand in a chair that has wheels on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because <laughs> all of our chairs are they roll, so I had to hold the chair for him, and he got up there. And he did it. He had and he had the tools. I don't have tools. Okay. Well, that was yeah. sweet of him. Basically, what I did was I took the curtains out of the uh, packaging, and I ran the curtain rod through the he little loop chair. at the top and held the chair yeah okay mm-hmm. that's nice um but todd do you think it looks better without the because the blinds that are on these windows are yeah. are made out of onion skin i mean it's just they're just terrible it might as well not even be on there it does look better you're looking yeah, at it now it, because the daylight's constantly changing yeah constantly yeah mm-hmm. yeah you can control it better sure no, sure. What else you you see this Ace and TJ logo on that wall behind you? Oh, we're, we're gonna make that bigger. I don't yeah. know what. Todd says we need to make that bigger. Okay. After we paid for that one to go on the wall for th- we'll thirty seconds, one. we'll reuse it. You can't pull that. Up. Be, that won't come up. Carrie will get it off. That that doesn't seem like it would cost a lot. Well, at first I said, how much is those? And he said, like nothing, like 60 bucks. And I said, 60? We're just going to throw $60 away? Well, oh. no, it's 20 I like, okay, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> then you got room to make mistakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll move it and put on some. We'll, we'll get it off. Carrie's good at getting that stuff off. Carrie's his fiance that he's talking about. Mm-hmm. That looks good. Yeah, and I don't think it needs to be any bigger. You don't? Oh, it looks good in the camera. If it goes bigger, you won't be able to see it. Well, who knows? We'll figure it out. We'll see what the people s- say. If they they said the, the one that Ace picked out, the logo and all to go on that wall, Adam said was way too expensive. Yeah, it was like. You know, he's got expensive tastes when it comes to that. So, yeah. For stickers? No, it was like three dimensional <laughs> letters. Oh. For stickers? <laughs> well, I mean, dang. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're you know we're, we're trying to get these these videos and all to be professional projects. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go back and look at um, these people that do podcasts that are like political podcasts and stuff that I listen to, and then they're also on video. Yeah, their stuff always looks like they're in these nice offices with the, you know the lights always good on them and the you know the angles and all that stuff. But they got a bigger budget. But I'll they got a big you, budget for a whole watch, TV crew. Well, I watch a couple of Housewives podcasts, and they don't have any lighting. They're sitting in their house. Um, yeah, real Housewives of whatever, not yeah. just your friends? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of whatever. Well, I mean, you so said Housewives. So they have housewife. podcasts, and then they're, they're split screen, and they are sitting. And we look better than they do because they they don't have lights. They're just wherever they are. They just... Well, Throw they, up a camera and go. They probably can't have much lighting anyway. They'll melt their faces. <laughs> Fit some of them that some I've of seen. Them, maybe some uh, of them, maybe. But no, that I mean, I've seen several that aren't. Mm-hmm. Like they, that. they don't have a Mr. Todd. No. Mm. But then again, <laughs> there's only one. I know. And we've got him. Mr. Todd, I know. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know. Him and his monster energy drinks, his tight pants. <laughs> you ain't getting your dum-dums today. I ain't getting dum-dums, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he, he's in a mood. Dum-dums. He's uh, not in a mood. He, he was in a mood when he got here today. What? Yeah. Oh, gracious. <laughs> they were trying to get these things to work and all, and it was frustrating and then rob told him to calm down and then you know you can't tell a woman to calm down (laughs) i'm glad i was late (laughs) i missed all that but you know i was trying to make it better and oh i'm sure i'm sure you weren't poking the bear he was was poking Uh uh uh-huh launching grenades i know i was in the other room just going Y'all dumb. <laughs> both, ah. both y'all stupid. <laughs> you can't turn on the TVs. You are. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
I, I mean, I was, you know. I live with him, I know. like, oh, and I thought this was supposed to be easy. Oh, who, <laughs> who ordered the TV? Oh, <laughs> the TVs are supposed to, oh. And I'm just like, oh, my God. How much, were those, TV, yeah. How much were those How TVs? That's what I was How much were those TVs? those TVs. We got thousands of dollars of TVs on the wall. They can't get it to work. You know, just like any leader would do. such a brat. My leadership skills are yeah. just uh, impeccable. You have gotten worse about poking and, and and nagging people, though. Like you're a pokey bowl, is what you are. You poke more than I do. You're a pokey bear. You're a pokey bowl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I find it amusing, Jody, <laughs> to irritate people. Yes. So Golly. shoot me, shoot well, me. I find other people's well, then you discomfort. You got to be entertained all the time. I find other people's discomfort amusing. Mm-hmm. So I'm the bad guy. He's so much. Uh. Oh yeah. So much. Everybody else loves me though. Good Even Todd, everybody. You're you know, you're the I only you, you're the you only pokey annoying. bear that has a problem with me. I love you. You're always you are annoying sometimes. Pokey bowl. Like right now. All right. What gets so annoying though? How much I tell you you're beautiful and smart and all. I guess that does get annoying. I can't even imagine what that would be Golly, like. Golly, you are to you have turn somebody things around. Tell me, like nobody's business. Nonstop, how mm-hmm. much better I look with age. The whole thing, all the things that I say, I, so annoying it has to be. Mm. I don't know how you stand it. Mm-mm. I apologize. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. It's TJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network.